My name is Joe Guerrero, and I served seven years in prison for drug charges. I've spent most of my life in and out of jails and prison because of drugs and constantly getting in trouble. But I realized during those seven years in prison that if I was to stand any chance at all of being a positive member of society, then I was going to have to do whatever it took to make that happen. I realized I was going to have to work harder than I had ever worked before and also never give up no matter how tough things got. It's been over three years now since my release from prison and in that time I've accomplished success and also so much more. Creating along the way something that helps others who have been in trouble themselves or who deal with addiction and other forms of negativity. A support system of people who have been through similar situations, who root for the success of others, and who help prove that your past doesn't have to dictate your future. Just because we have made mistakes doesn't mean we can't right those wrongs and make things right for not only ourselves, but also for our families and for those who care most about us. Not always does our help work, and real change for the better has to start within all of us. But our failures don't stop us from hoping that everyone we try to help will be a success. This is as real as it gets. This is After Prison Show. What's going on everybody? Welcome to After Prison Show and we are in the middle of nowhere right now. It's not just me though. It is Cody behind the camera. We do have a special guest with us as well, taking some photos of us. Feeling really special today, but we have a more special guest, this person right here. Shannon with the moped helmet. She's got the <laughs> fly blue with the fly blue moped right here. We couldn't just get here any other way other than riding the mopeds. And what I've been doing thus far is teaching Shannon how to ride a moped. And how has this been going for you? It's fun, actually. It's really fun. You enjoying this? Yeah. How, how scary is it? Um, it's not real scary, but I mean, be a little. You know, you think about as we were coming to this location right here, we had a couple of cars that flew past us, and that's something that you're going to have to get familiar with or just get used to. There ain't nothing you can do about it. Everybody's in a hurry. What was that experience like for you, though? I mean, it was okay. It, I've been on bicycles and had cars go flying past me, so it's really not much different than that. Well, hell yeah. So, again, I want to get Shannon comfortable with the moped because if you do get comfortable with this, then this could potentially be a means of transportation for you. Yeah, absolutely. And with what we've done thus far, you know, how are you feeling about it? I like it. I think it's fun. We've had all sorts of cameras, Cody. We've had the camera on the, on the front of the truck. Boy, we're doing some big things here. I've got the GoPro on the, the flame helmet that I'm using right now. <laughs> I'm probably looking pretty crazy. But I want to just continue to teach you how to use this thing and make sure that you're super comfortable with this and if you are then this is going to be your transportation you know when i first started talking with shannon about this a couple of days ago i didn't know what your reaction to this was going to be when i said hey if you need a ride to work we got the prison uber right here <laughs> and i mean what, what were your thoughts on that when i first brought this up to you i mean I, probably the best thought was that I'm not going to have to spend so much money on Ubers anymore because that is just, it costs so much to get back and forth to work, so, and being able to, you know, go to the store or whatever, whenever I want to, so I think this is a great idea. I think it's going really well thus far. My worst fear was that, you know, you would be really shaky on this thing, and you're not. You're, you're riding this thing, you're doing really well. Uh, I've taught you how to start this thing, how to stop it. These are your turn signals right here. So when you've got this thing on, you know, you've got your turn signal, boom, boom. And then to turn them off, you just click it back one time. Uh, I guess it's still on. Click it back. All right, now it's off. So those are your turn signals. You've got your horn right here. So when they're trying to pass you, hey. What's up, man? What I'd like to do, and I don't want to take this too fast with you, I'm definitely not trying to like overwhelm you with this, but I do want to kind of open it up a little bit more. Get you familiar with, you know, this thing moving at the speed that it goes. And the reason for that is, is because it rides a lot better when you're, you're going at speed, but we can take it slow. So what we're going to do is we're going to get back on these things and we're just going to continue to do some riding around because the more riding you do and the more 
out in the field experience you get, the more comfortable you're going to get with this. And I just want to continue to, to teach you this and make sure that I'm teaching you this the best possible way that I can so that when I know that you're comfortable with this or when you tell me you are comfortable with this, I can trust that, you know, uh, we did we did everything we needed to do to make sure that you are. Another thing to keep in mind, you know, when you're on this thing is you got these mirrors and these mirrors are super helpful. So use these because you'll be able to see that guy behind you flicking you off. You know, make sure you see, oh, there he is right there. But you'll be able to see the cars behind you. You always want to see what's going on behind yeah. you. So always make sure that when you get on here, you're checking those mirrors and making sure that you know, you're know you seeing everything. What we're gonna do is we're gonna ride around a little bit more. We're gonna ride through the neighborhood and then we're gonna stop, I'm gonna check on you. And if you're good, I'm gonna take you out on the road a little bit and show you some of that. Now, one thing to keep in mind as well when you're riding, especially when you're by yourself, is the rules of the road with a moped you're, you're supposed to stay as far over to the right lane as you possibly can. That way people can get around you. Stay over to the right lane. If you got to turn left, I mean, you got as much right to the road as anybody else. And, you know, if you got to get into a turn lane or something like that, just make sure, you know, you got the room to do so. And use these turn signals because they are going to, you know, that lets everybody know what you're trying to do. Well, I feel like a driving instructor out here, driving instructor Joe today. Am I doing a good job though? Yeah. Any questions? No, not so far. All right. So that, we're right. That left turn was my only question. So. Yeah, the left turn. If you got to get over, you can get over. You can't take this on the interstate. You can take it on any road, though, that's not an interstate. You can take this thing on military highway where the speed limit is 55 miles an hour. And I used to ride mine on that road as well. So we're going to ride through the neighborhood. We're going to open it up a little bit. Just do what you're comfortable with. I'm going to keep you in front of me. And one other thing, if you see like some gravel or some dirt in the road, just be mindful of that. You know, you really want to be mindful of that because, you know, that could be a hazard for you. But just get familiar with it. That's what this is all about. So we're going to take this show back on the road and continue to teach Shannon how to be the next APS moped bandit. <laughs> Straight down this main road, there's gonna be a stoplight at the end of it. We're gonna take a left there, and we're gonna go to the food line parking lot. Okay. So like I said, I want you to ride in front of me, and just make sure you're riding on the right side of the road, okay? Don't, uh, and you ain't gotta stay like all the way over there. I mean, can you see in your mirrors? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna have Cody behind us anyway, so traffic's gonna be held up like a bitch regardless. But don't even worry about it. This is you getting familiar with this, and it's gonna be okay. So you ready? Go left at the light. All the way down, left at the light. I think we got Shannon doing pretty good right here. I mean, how you feeling about all this? Pretty good. You got a little more, uh, a little more pep in your step now. You seem like you got some confidence with this. We've been riding all over the neighborhoods, and you know, it's one thing trying to teach Shannon to use this, but she also doesn't even know where the hell we're going. So, <laughs> she, you know, you live right down the street from here, right? I actually used to live behind here, but I still don't know where I'm at. I, I don't drive anywhere, so. So that's another. That's a crazy thing to think about too, with the fact that you don't drive anywhere, and then trying to like get used to that as well but i think you're doing a really good job with this in terms of learning this being safe with this 
We're gonna go to uh, 7-Eleven next, cause I gotta get gas in this one. This one's out of gas. And with us doing that, I can show you how to do the gas and everything. And like I said, it takes like three bucks to fill this up. After this, um, you know, we'll do a little bit more riding around. And then if you're comfortable with it, you got you a ride to work now. Yeah, that's awesome. Except tell me how to get home. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, literally it's straight down the road. <laughs> we, we can take the ride. I'm just playing. I know where I'm at. We can take the ride. We can, we can dox Shannon's address. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got to go get a chain and a lock for this thing because I ain't got one. And I was at the store yesterday. I was at uh, Home Depot yesterday. Got them there. Do you got anywhere where you can chain this thing up at? Yeah, my back porch. Okay, that's perfect then. So you can ride this thing straight through the breezeway or whatever to get to the back porch or around the building. Heck yeah. So look, we're gonna go over to the gas station. I'm gonna show you how gas works with this. And then uh, we gotta go to Home Depot and get a lock. I'm almost debating just riding these things to Home Depot. I mean, what do you think? It's a long ass yeah, ride. Yeah, it's a decent ride. All right, we'll figure it out. Let's go get some gas. I'm gonna show you how to do this next. And then uh, we'll see where we end up. All right, let's go to the gas station. Cody, so I wonder if I walk in here with this on, am I gonna get told I can't film it here? <laughs> Did you see what happened to us when we went to Walmart? Yeah. Oh my God, we were doing a good thing. All right, Shannon, so check it out. Take the key out. Right here is where your gas goes. Put your key in, turn, bung. That's the gas. Now they recommend putting in the 93. So I'm gonna put in the 93. And I don't know if this thing's gonna be able to sense what it's full. It should be able to. It almost did. All right, full. $4, Shannon. Can't be that. $4, you're going to ride all week. <laughs> okay. So we just got done with the uh, moped tutorial. You know, we were doing Hope 2 tutorials with the home improvements. Because I don't know really what I was doing with that. Uh, but the how-to with the moped is a lot better. And I'm going to let Shannon tell you how that went. Oh, it was fun. Um... <laughs> Definitely different than I thought it was going to be like it's almost like having a toy to play with. It was kind of fun You know you said that same thing to me while we were on the road and what I really wanted to say to you is Shannon It's not a toy <laughs> Okay, this thing will it's not a toy. I know but it is fun though, right? It is fun. So you did a lot better than I expected you weren't very shaky and I don't want to say anything like you know I was expecting you to do bad or nothing, but you picked it up really quick Yeah, I mean it it wasn't really all that hard to ride, for real. I mean, how are you feeling about this opportunity? Are you feeling like this is going to be a good thing for you? Are you, you, are you thinking about all the places you're going to go already? Yeah, I mean, I think this is definitely going to be good for me because now I can go and be a little more motivated. I don't have to wait on somebody to give me a ride. Like, I can actually maybe go talk to some apartments and go do some other stuff. Like, I won't have the ride situation holding me back, so. Well, hell yeah. Cody. What's up? Cody, how, how did Shannon do on the moped? She was doing good. You could tell she's different. Definitely, you could tell she had a robot before. Oh boy, look, you, hear what, you hear what Cody's saying, right? Cody's saying you ain't do too good. Oh, she did good. You could just tell, you know, it's her first time riding. Dude. Yeah, she did. Yeah, I mean, I, I could tell that as well. I think we've taught you pretty much the basics with it in terms of like how to start it, how to shut it down, how to lock it up, how to open things up, check your mirrors, uh, your horn. And with all of that, there's something that we gotta go do. We gotta go get a lock and a chain for this thing because I know from first-hand experience what it's like to walk outside and see a moped that has been stolen. So, we're on our way to my favorite place in the world, Home Depot, right now because I was just in there yesterday and I saw these things and I should have picked one up, but I said, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do it on the video. Hopefully we don't get kicked out of Home Depot for filming in here. I don't think that we will. I'm a good patron of that store. And one other thing that you might want to consider, Shannon, is getting yourself a tarp, I mean, a, like a, a cover for this thing. I don't have one of those. Yeah, I should definitely probably get one of those. We ought to get you some, some decals made. I don't know if you saw the decals we put on Dave's moped, Gay Dave. No, I didn't see them. <laughs> we get the APS Shannon Mobile. So we're on our way to Home Depot right now. We're going to get this thing, and uh, we're going to continue this, because I still want to give Shannon some more on-the-road experience. 
you know, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm feeling a lot like a driving instructor today, and it's a good feeling. It's good. But I gotta, I have to do this. I have to make sure that, you know, when we send Shannon away, I feel confident and comfortable myself knowing that she's confident and comfortable as well. And on a scale of a one to 10, Shannon, where would you say that your confidence and your comfort level is on this thing? Uh, if I know where I'm going, it's a lot higher. And not knowing where I'm going kind of stresses me out a little bit, but probably a nine. Oh boy! <laughs> you see that Yelp review right there for Joe's Moped Training Service? Got a <laughs> nine! Okay, thank you. I appreciate that, Shannon. So we're at my favorite place right now, Home Depot. Special shout out to this place. This is not a sponsored video. <laughs> We're gonna go in here and grab a lock and also see if they got a smaller vest as well. And I'm trying to remember what aisle I was on yesterday when I was trying to do my home improvements where I saw these things. But this will help you. Being able to lock this thing up will help ensure that you're not getting this thing stolen from you. And also <clears throat> getting that vest will make sure that you're able to be seen at nighttime as well. This is a 30 foot. I think 30 foot might be too much. What do you think? 15 feet? What do you think, Cody? Uh, probably 15. Now, does this have the lock? I don't think they no. do. So you need this and a lock. Damn, these locks are $17. Come on, man, you ain't got no cheaper locks than that. Hey, get you one of these kind of locks. <laughs> Did y'all have these? Yes. Tell you what, I'm gonna get one of these. These are two for 20. I can just keep one of these. So we're loading back up on the moped. Wow, I can't hear nothing. So we're loading back up on the mopeds right now. Shannon is loaded up. And we're getting ready to take a ride to her place. And that's gonna probably be it. I think we've given quite a bit of tutorial how-to on this. And I mean, you, you're feeling pretty confident. And if for any reason you're not, this will be the test right here. <laughs> so we're gonna get on the road. This is the final driving test with the mopeds. And Shannon is potentially about to be the next After Prison Show member of the moped gang. You ready? <laughs> yes. Let's do this. Well, there's no better way to learn how to ride a moped than getting tailgated by the police. But nevertheless, he wasn't giving us any problems then. We weren't doing anything wrong, so that's kind of cool. I don't know if you heard it, because you guys were way ahead of me. I got caught up in traffic and everything. I'm sitting at the stoplight right here, and the guy started honking at me. Oh, I heard that. I turned around, I was like... <laughs> 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 it might not even have been him. How was the ride, though? It was fun. Was it fun? Yeah. You did damn good. I mean, you, you were way ahead of me. There was no way for me to give you any kind of direction whatsoever, so I was feeling like, oh my God, I hope everything goes good. I mean, I knew where I was going. I was following somebody this time, so it was much more comfortable. <laughs> so how do you feel about riding one of these by yourself, though? Good. As long as I'm going someplace, I know how to get there. Well, I'm pretty sure you know, uh, like, getting to I work. I to get to work, yeah. Well, the one thing that I forgot was the damn vest. I forgot to grab the vest. And uh, you, you're going to definitely want that if you're going to be driving at nighttime. So I can probably get Cody to drop that off this afternoon after work. But uh, yeah, if you're comfortable. Yeah, I'm pretty confident. I feel pretty good about it. And again, if you have any trouble trying to start this thing up, just remember to check your kill switch. Uh, give it a little bit of gas if you need to give it some gas. Always keep track of how much gas you got as well. Okay. And you know, you're probably gonna want to fill this thing up every couple of days. But it's gonna, that, that amount of gas is probably, a full tank of gas will probably carry you through the week for sure. Well, Shannon, look, you know we got the moped service and uh, Basically, I'm just not even gonna charge you for doing this. I know this is gonna help you out. You've been working with the After Prison Show. It wouldn't be right at all for me to do that. And look, this will help you save some money on your Ubers. Absolutely. Just be super careful. That's all I'm gonna ask. Just be super careful. And if you have any problems, give me a call. If the damn thing doesn't start, give me a call. And I'll make sure that uh, we help you out. Come get it, pick it up, drop you off one that does work, figure out what the hell's wrong with that. As you ride this thing for a while, you're gonna realize you know, it's gonna have problems from time to time. And just, we'll, we'll be definitely making sure that everything's okay. Get familiar with this thing, you know, and be careful out here. These people, they don't care. They got no regard at all. They're gonna honk at you, they're gonna beef at you. 
this one. You ain't doing nothing wrong. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. Shannon, we got a lock for you and a chain. We're gonna give you that. And again, I'll make sure Cody drops that vest off for you. You got the kickstand? Yeah. Girl, you got you a Harley Davidson now. So I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up with that. Give you a little bit of time to enjoy the rest of your day off. And now you got some transportation to be able to get where you need to go whenever you want to go there. Yeah. You know, what's it feel like just knowing that you can go someplace? Pretty excited. I'm already thinking about where I can go. Well, the more that you ride this thing, the more comfortable you're going to get. And if you have any questions, any concerns, any problems whatsoever, give me a call. And we'll make sure that we work it out. Sounds good. Shannon, I greatly appreciate you, you taking the time today. And look, you got you some wheels right here. It wouldn't have been right for us to do it any other type of way. So use this as much as you want. Get where you need to go. Get what you need to get taken care of, taken care of. And now you ain't got to worry about $70 a day for no Uber. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. I appreciate it. I really do. Well, you're in there now. And uh, we'll look forward to talking with you again real soon. Yeah.